Why hello ladies and gentlemen, it is I, the Copper Owl, bringing you a comparison video of these three Mega Blasters. Again, I am packing. My upload schedule is going to be weird, but I wanted to make this video because I am donating all of these to Goodwill. I'm not even going to bother selling them, including the Battle Camo um, Cyclone Shock, because I don't need a Cyclone Shock, and I'm like... Honestly, like, I'm downgrading so much, there's a good chance I'm going to start selling off Infinises, Strifes, all that kind of stuff, and just keep, like, a handful of blasters. So, this is why, it's pretty much why I think the, um, the barrel attachment to Fire's Mega Darts is such a, the most important attachment ever, as well as having the blaster, like, the Dual Strike. Like, because... In comparison to the to each other, the dual strike is probably the best of the, out of all of them, and I'm gonna get to that. So, first of all, all of these are in, are are in the mega line, and only one of these has slam fire, being the Roto Fury. It's the only one that could slam fire. The other, I mean, not the <laughs> being double breach and the Roto Fury, are the only two that could slam fire. The Cyclone Shot cannot. They all vary in prices. The cheapest. Second most expensive, most expensive, and all that. But and they're all relatively uncommon. I say the cyclone shock is the most common of the two. Can I let me zoom? See if I can zoom out. Now let's zoom in. Now I can't zoom out. Being the most common, and I want to say the roto fury is the most. It's the second most common. I think the double breach is actually a lot rarer. All of them are essentially like pump action when you think about it. it pretty much you pull back the slide on this one. And these two essentially function the same way. So, but this one only holds two darts at a time, but has an ammo holder on the side. Whereas this one holds, what is it, six darts? Yes, six darts. And the Ro Roto Fury holds 10 darts. So, best ammo capacity is going to be the Roto Fury. Second best is Mega. So, it's like, what are you looking for? If you want compact capabilities, it's the Cyclone Shark. If you want um, more, more ammo, it's the Mega. Or if you just want something that... Honestly, the road of the double breach is the most useless of the two. It has its perks in that it is of the three and not the two. It has its benefits in that it's a lot, a lot slimmer. But that's really it. And it looks cool. It has a nice grip. It look it's pretty. It's just a pretty neat thing. Very like reminds me of Transformers. And all that. And it, it's fun to use. But it's also like unmoddable. Because it's smart AR. So this is the most useless one of the two. So really this. And I thought pretty highly of the double breach. Just because of the LARPing capabilities of it. But. Yeah I think if it was like a mad fit. Like. If it was more like a. Um, what you call it. Uh, the, the Warden, or whatever the other thing is called. Rough Cut, Rough Cut. I think it would have been better, and I believe there is a Rough Cut of the Mega of mega Blasters. And also there's another blaster that should be used as a comparison, being the new Fortnite blaster. But I don't have that. So I'm taking this out. This is the worst. Now, really, the competition is between... It's between... Cyclone Shock and the Roto Fury. And with the Roto Fury, it's like it's bigger. Doesn't have, doesn't have a stock. It um carries more ammo. And you could you can mod it to fire elite darts. With, and also admit it, this thing looks cool. It looks like a grenade launcher, okay? This thing just looks cool. I don't want to I don't want to give it away, but I have to do it. So you got all of that aspect going for it. 
and it has the slam fire, but it's just bigger. It's like twice the size of the cyclone, cyclone shock, and just as thick with that drum. So, and you need both hands to operate this one, and you do need that with this one as well, but it's a little bit more reasonable. With modability, you can mod the cyclone shock to use elite darts. And you don't, and it's a lot cheaper. You just gotta go to the hardware store, get some PVC pipe, get some pliers, cut the pipe, get some electrical tape, and there you go. Cut the air restrictors out. And you have a modded cyclone shock. But it's a permanent permanent mod to your blaster. Versus and and I pretty I'm pretty sure this is everybody's first modded blaster too. Versus the Roto Fury, which is like, oh no, it's like um got to go buy something online for various prices which i kind of wanted to do but I'm, I'm not going to do that so that being said i've also heard the cyclone shock was banned modded ones were banned from competitions because it's too good so you also have that aspect to it as well and so given what what we have to this thing doesn't even have a sling attachment. Keep that in mind. I think the Roto, if you're gonna use Mega, the Roto Fury is probably better because just go. You're gonna go use Mega, go big. Okay, just go big with it. Because the Cyclone Shock, although good, and they're both good for paint drops too. They're both. You could make these both into cyberpunk looking weapons. Okay. They are very good for that. Even in all black and just some weathering, they look good. Especially the Roto Fury. Again, I hate that I'm going to give it away. You guys can't imagine how angry I am that I'm giving them a, these, donating these. Yes, I know I could keep them, but no, I have to do it. So, and all that. But one day I will buy these again. But right now I got to get, I just got to get rid of them. But anyway. But they both fit pale in comparison with the dual strike. The dual strike effectively does what the modded version of these things do as well. Because that's always a thing I hear when it comes to modding the Roto Fury. It's like, oh, you can have half of them be regular darts. Half of them are regular darts. Just with a flip of a switch, there you go. Effectively, it functions the same way as the Cyclone Shock. You gotta pull back a primer and fire. And all that. It has the same amount of ammo, but it's a half. Mega and half elite. Effectively, unless you're in a competition with only mega darts, the Road Fear is still your best option. It's stronger and it hits farther and it has slam fire. But if you're in a competition that uses both types of darts, uh, it's like, are you gonna freaking. It, it would cause a problem. It would be like you have the element of surprise, you still have that element of surprise. The dual strike is by far one of the best nerf blasters. And there's still the and if you still gotta use the mega, you could just use the barrel attachment, which I have right here. Let me grab it. Oh no, it's in it's in my kitchen actually. You still have this barrel attachment. Which, which of course is a pump. It's not as strong as these other blasters, but it's still an option for your flywheel blaster. So, in comparison, it's like these things are really out, just over the power crept by just the dual strike and that barrel attachment. But in a competition of nothing but mega darts. Out of the three blasters, these three budget blasters, effectively, because these are only found thrifting and fairly common. If you're going to need a, a single mega blaster out of these three, because there's still the um, pistol one, the jolt. That one is actually pretty good. But I don't have one. So I, I think I don't have one. No, 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 no. I do, I do have the um, flatter gun, I believe. I just don't know where it is. I must have packed it up. But out of all of those, it's like... I would say Roto Fury is the best. And don't forget, there's still... 
on things like the Mastodon and the Megalodon and all that, they're still pretty, those guys are pretty good too, in their own respects, but just add a generic ones, Roto Fury has to be the best, because one, it's probably the, it's the more easily moddable one, even though you do got to pay money to mod it, but a lot more money to mod it, but it's also like, the more ammo capacity, effectively, like, it's this, essentially, but, be but better. But, it's, um, you got less control of your actions. You got to pay attention to what you're shooting and all that. While also with this, it's like, you just got to pay attention to the switch and all that. But there's no element of surprise here. And, and all that, so... So there you go. If you're going to pick one of the three Mega Blasters out of this lot, it would be the Roto Fury. If you're going to pick a Mega Blaster in general, I'd just pick the Dual Strike because, again, it's just far more, it's far more, um, what's the word, um, pr practical. Well, thank you all very much. You all have a nice day. Bye-bye.